Brussels has been urged to wade into the row over Belarus presidential election after violence erupted when crowds disputed the ballot result. European capitals called for an emergency summit to discuss the re-election of long-term dictator Alexander Lukanhesko. This morning, the country's electoral commission said the 65-year-old, who has been president since 1994, had secured 80.23% of the votes, while his main rival, Svetlana Tikhanovskaya had only 9.9%. The incumbent leader instantly faces accusations of vote rigging and election fraud. Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said, The authorities have used force against their citizens, who are demanding change in the country. We must support the Belarusian people in their quest for freedom. After the release of the early exit poll, thousands flooded onto the streets of the capital, Minsk, to voice their outrage. Authorities deployed riot police with armored vehicles and water cannons to counter the protesters. The Interior Ministry was forced to deny that someone had been killed during the demonstrations, but said 89 people were injured, including 39 police officers and 3,000 people were detained. The anti-government movement spread rapidly across the country, with 1,000 people detained in the capital and 2,000 in other regions across Belarus. As pressure mounted on him to make a stand, European Council President Charles Michel condemned the violence. He said, Violence against protesters is not the answer. Freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, basic human rights must be upheld. Germany called for the EU to consider imposing fresh sanctions on Belarus unless significant reforms are made in the wake of the allegedly rigged election. Brussels had previously lifted measures against Minsk because its leader had taken steps, including to release political prisoners, towards genuine democracy. Foreign Minister Heiko Maas said, we must now discuss in the EU whether this still applies in the light of the past week and past days.